I never could figure out how to tell a doctor what was the matter with me. And I used to say I had a dark cloud over me and I feel like it was going into a pit. There were occasions where I would just, like while I was eating lunch, literally feel like I was falling asleep in my plate and if I didn't get to the couch fast enough, I thought I was gonna be on the floor. I thought, oh, well, it must be Parkinson's that's doing this to me. The extreme thing is I went to a card party with a number of my friends and I was the driver and I just threw up in the parking lot in front of everybody. I was mortified and I got really dizzy. I couldn't drive my own car home because I was the, the driver and I said, this is no way to go on. I, you know, it got to the point where I was literally afraid to leave the house. I didn't know what I was going to do. You know what? I don't believe I ever heard that expression. NOH. I thought maybe it was the medication or something, and my blood pressure always tended to be very low. And for years they would tell me to drink Gatorade, drink tomato juice, salt your food, and but it really made no difference in my life. I just, you know, just assumed I had low blood sugar or something, because uh, what else would make you feel faint like? I didn't know there was a blood pressure um, issue involved. I just kept going along my merry way, but it was getting worse and worse um, till actually I was very happy when my doctor suggested there was a clinical study that could help me. And I remember that first time I came in and I prayed that I would make the trial because I just thought this would be great. I'm on the droxodopa, the 500 milligrams, three times a day. And uh, the first time I left the doctor's office, the, when he was just starting to treat me with the uh, trial drug, I had to wait online and pay for something at Michael's. And I thought, oh my God, this line. But I had just taken the pill at the doctor's office and it wasn't even my full dose yet. And I said, whoa, you know, I'm not holding on. I'm not, you know, watching my clock to see how much longer I'm, I think I can do this. I mean, I'm living a much better life than I did at 63 than I did at 48. I mean, and that's the reality. I'm very lucky that I live in an active adult community and there's lots of things to do. So I do lots of exercises, which I never thought I could make it through a Zimba class or an aerobics class, you know, three times a week. Uh, just the spinning around, the turning around, you know, or. Uh, uh, putting your head down or standing up and doing those things, I just never ever thought it was going to be in the cards for me. I mean, I go to Amherst Early Music every year as a participant. Uh, I've been to workshops, I perform, I uh, accompany my temple choir, I sing. You know, there's no holding me back now. It's been just like rebirth. I want them to know these people who have done this research and all, we've really there are people that are grateful.